Hey guys, I have a very talented and very eccentric friend named Kevin. He is a musician, a performer, and who knows what else. We met here in LA 12, 15 years ago, I'm not sure, but he has since relocated to Seattle. Anyway, he has a variety show called Dead Finger Radio, which he can no longer produce in public due to the shutdown, so he took it online. Dead Finger Radio takes place in a sort of post-apocalyptic hellscape. There are frequent music numbers which lean heavily on a 20s and 30s vibe, and I recently contributed a segment to this variety show, and I thought you'd like to see it. And no, I do not sing, but I'm proud of it anyway. I'll link to Kevin's band, his channel, in the episode below. Check them out if you're so inclined. Hope you like it. Is it on? Are we rolling? How much battery are we looking at? It'll have to do. We've only got one chance at this. I don't know if anyone can hear me, but we're using what's left of our plasma generator to broadcast an update of our latest scavenges. The surface air is still completely unbreathable to anyone without a hacked Neuralink interface. And as you know, the last of those were stolen from the black market during the last bio raids. But even if you could breathe the air, zombies would tear you apart before you could get to the nearest community of survivors. We've swept every cryopod within three clicks from sub-basement 17 to 21, and they've been picked clean of MREs and hydrogen cells. But the most valuable resource was right under their nose, and they left it all behind. That's right, they left all the booze. Everything we found is behind me, and as you can see, we did pretty good, didn't we, fellas? Look, I don't have much time, but I wanted to show you how to quickly throw something together with whatever you have on hand. Because no matter how bad it gets up there, you can still enjoy a drink like a civilized person. And if you're old enough, reminisce of when the surface was green. Start by adding about two ounces of aged rum from the Bermuda Triangle into your glass. Doesn't have to be exact. We were lucky enough to find some wine from the Iberian Peninsula, so to make things interesting, I'm adding about an ounce. We also found a hidden cache of aromatic bitters, so add a couple dashes and finish this off. Believe it or not, these are no longer classified as medicinal, so they won't be confiscated. And if you don't have rum, whiskey or brandy will also work. Anything brown, really. And I know these are hard to get parts for, but if you have access to a working sub-freezer, get some ice and add it to the glass. Give it a stir with your cleanest finger and enjoy. Amazing. I may not look it, but I'm old enough to remember when you could go to a physical bar and get a drink just like this made by a real human. Next time you enjoy a drink like this, think of a bartender you used to see topside, and if you're able, wire them a couple bucks. We all still have access to GlobalNet, and you just might make that person's day. Anyway, I can hear the unmistakable sound of synchronized footsteps, which means that shock troops can't be far away. But the good news is, you no longer have to drink like a savage. Also, tip your bartender. Okay, let's get out of here.